Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this interesting functional equations given that p of 5x minus p of 3x equals 6x. I want to find p of x in a general form. So looking at what we have here, we have this 6x the power of x here is 1. Well, can we just assume that for every p of x is equals a constant? Or for every p of x is equals a linear? Or for every p of x is equals a quadratic? So we cannot just assume this like this. So we have to make it a general. In case this does not equals the power of 1. So suppose the power is 2, power is 3 or more than that. So we cannot just start assuming any uh, general uh, uh, any general polynomial form like this. So we have to make it in a robust way. So let's get into it. So instead of solving it that way, let's consider the solution. Let's say I assume that if you have p of x to be equals, let's say we have a n x raised to power n plus a n minus 1, then x raised to power n minus 1 plus a n minus 2, x raised to power of n minus 2, then it continues like that. And from here we have 5x so here we have x so let's change this one to p of 5x and see what beat the output so we have p of 5x equals we have a n x raised to power n that is 5x raised to power n then plus a n minus 1 we have 5x raised to the power of n minus 1, and this is how it continues. So for this one to be odd, a n must not equal 0. So a n must not equal 0. And then let's find p of 3x. So for p of 3x, we have a n of 3x raised to the power of n plus a n minus 1, 3x raised to the power of n minus 1, and this is how this also continues. So by subtracting p3x from p5 of x, so we are going to have for every p5 p of 5x, so here we have the first term here, and this is also the first term. So what is common here is a n then x raised to power n in the bracket we have 5 raised to power n minus 3 raised to power of n and also what is common here as well is a n minus 1 x raised to power of n minus 1 bracket 5 raised to power n minus 1 minus 3 raised to power of n minus 1 and this is how this continues so in a general terms so we have to write p of 5x minus p of 3x to be equals so here we have a n x raised to the power n this is 5 raised to the power n minus 3 raised to the power n so we are going to have it in the way of the summation of so since this is summed down, then we have n here as the highest number. So we are going to have n equals to a 0 to as many as number that we can have. So let's say k. Then we have the constant coefficient, which is a n. Then open bracket 5 raised to the power n minus 3 raised to the power of n. So this is what we are going to have. 
so this keeps going so we test for a naught so we can still test for a1 we can test for a2 till as many as uh, the terms we are going to have but p of f p of 5x minus p of 3x this equals 6x but we have to know the other values that are going to be here so since we have 6x here the power of it is 1 so which means the other degree are uh, multiplied by 0 so therefore for every right hand side what you are going to be having there is 0 we multiply x raised to the power of 0 then we have plus this is multiplying by 6 we have 6 multiplied by x power 1 so followed by 0 multiplied by x power 2 so followed by 0 multiplied by x power of 3 and that's how it continues so if you start considering this formula summation n equals 0 to k a n of 5 raised to power n minus 1 suppose i test for number 1 if our n here equals 0 and we know these are the right hand side that we have if n equals to 0 here we are going to have a naught then we have 5 raised to power 0 minus 3 raised to power 0 so everything here equals the coefficients we have at the other side equals 0 so we have to continue and uh, so here there is going to be uh, the x raised to the power of n here then we have a naught into bracket of 5 raised to the power of 0 minus 6 raised to the power of 0 equals 0 so this shows that a here which is a naught equals 0 so there is no restriction for a naught and also if we check for when our n here equals 1 so if n equals to 1 then we are going to have a1 then x raised to the power of 1 into bracket of 5 raised to the power 1 minus 3 raised to the power 1 so this gives us 2 then everything equals 6x so this is power of 1 so we cancel this and we cancel this so we are going to have a1 equals 2 so if n is equals 1 we got 3 so that is our the value of a1 here equals 3 and again if n is greater than or equals 2 so any value starting from 2 upward so we are going to have 5 raised to the power of n minus 3 raised to the power of n so multiplied by a n everything here will be equals 0 so because considering the right hand side there so we have every every coefficient equals 0 so therefore since we have 5 raised to the power k uh, power n minus 3 raised to the power n greater than 0 so this is when we have our k greater than or equals 1 and it is also going to be non-zero when we have our n rather so if we have our n greater than or equals 1 and it's going to be non-zero when we have n greater than or equals 2 so for this reason we are going to have our f of x here equals 3x plus c so where c here is a constant term thanks for watching and see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye